all right i am back again with part 14 i believe um, i was actually waiting till the my uh, my waterworks were carved out but some migrants have arrived so very pleased let's see one two three no that's uh, a peacock i believe three only three no no not seriously only three sometimes i really have like 18 and I believe this one is already no I thought he was already injured but that's okay he's not um, let's see we're going to the dwarf therapist again we're gonna retain the dwarves the new dwarves and I, I just got three dwarves what is this Probably my wealth isn't good enough. My happiness goes up, as you can see. The green are really happy, the yellow are less happy, but they start getting into the greens. So, let's see. One cheese maker. Now, that's awesome, because it's worthless for now. I'm not being going to use it. Fish dissector. I believe this job isn't yet implemented. It does totally nothing so that's not good either um, plant processing is okay I guess but no we don't need it yet but he actually is a decent butcher so we can put our huntsman off of the butchery skill um, Let's make this fish cleaner as well. Since our fisher will also be our weaponsmith eventually. I'm gonna make this a fisher as well to skill him up a little. Um, yes. Then what about him? See that guy? He didn't have any skill and it uh, in the mechanics, but he just leveled up. Oh, sorry, wanted to show you. A raw level one. He needs uh, 500 experience more for level two. But anyway, I'm gonna make him a stone detailer for now. And we're gonna start detailing some stone as well. So detailing stone is smoothing stone. It's it makes the place nicer. Your dwarves will be happy about that. So you also press D to designate. And go press S for smooth, yes. And we're gonna smooth this section out just for our mess hall so just the hall for now that should keep him busy for a while uh, I've also been clearing this out Oops, that's too much. Oh, oh, this is. Too yep, I went too low. Ah, oh, this is a problem. DX, not a big problem, but we don't want to get into the cavern. If there was a cavern below, he might have fallen down. So, oh, he wants to drink badly so we have to carve him away up very quickly he's thirsty
and I guess I'm gonna pause this game and come back when all this is carved out or something interesting happens so just a sec so the whole area got carved out uh, since I'm gonna flood this area uh, I'm gonna first I'm gonna remove all the stones so I'm gonna dump them again so DBD to dump the items uh, I'm gonna make a big selection that covers the entire area then I'm gonna go down all the way and press enter and then on every floor where there are stones or items any items they all get dumped as you see they're all purple this will keep my dwarves busy for a while but it's actu actually very necessary to remove all those uh, stones well not very necessary but they will get shoved up in the wells and you have a stack of usable material you can't get you can't get to you can't reach and I like to keep my place neat so I'm gonna dump everything and then I'm gonna make it available again by reclaiming it um, we actually need to designate the miners since they cleared everything out we're gonna work on the waterworks soon enough so let me think what's the best thing to do now I think we can go to our shaft to go to the magma level so how does this line up um, <coughs> yes that's actually good so let's mine that and some extra storage area perhaps like here maybe some more storage area over here this one yeah it's same size very well and I guess we can resume as you see when we dump items all those idle dwarfs went to zero everybody's working to get the place clean you see the peacock again just about now there he is the pet of one of the guys like they can claim their own pets give them a name as well if a pet dies um, you should bury it otherwise they get uh, very frustrated if you don't bury their pets same goes for relatives of course or friends you should always bury your dwarves so actually if you have an army with a lot of uh, war dogs and all your war dogs somehow die it's actually very bad for the for the for the thoughts of your dwarf he gets very angry you should bury them very quickly to to lessen the the amount of to, the amount of frustration of them and they all get brought here pretty close as you see they all get the stones to here uh, about the stockpiles uh, if you have like quality goods that are making wealth you don't want too many dwarves to walk over them food doesn't matter but the quality of your items goes down if a lot of dwarves walk over them 
so that's why here I just make one opening and same place for here just dwarfs that needs to put stuff inside walk into it if I make an opening like this dwarfs might cross it to make a shorter route There's still a lot of stone in mm. we're also working on uh, the shafts uh, there's a dingo let me see the dingo is fighting you're actually killing dingoes but there's a group and he can't return the let me see the hunter is actually sleeping but here's a dingo and here's a kill of him he tried to return the the dingo corpse but a dingo interrupted him he actually has a cat too oh no it's not his cat it's just a stray cat but I guess he is fond of the hunter <laughs> he follows him that's pretty funny maybe he gets adopted you see a huge amount of kills and a huge amount of red trees as well I don't know why they show up red but they just did maybe because it's autumn by now and the leaves fall I'm not sure Ooh, and as we can see here our refuge uh, stockpile is full so we need more refuge stockpile otherwise the refuge will stay in the dungeon so I make up another refuge stockpile Um, it's getting cleaner still needs a lot of work um, well I'm gonna continue this in another video while everything is cleaned up so see you guys in the next video